You're watching the news on the hour brought to you from the Anglican Cable Network Nigeria, ACNN. I am Mzubechi Frank. You are welcome. Christians have been called to shun the life of sin because sin is the only thing that can quench the Holy Spirit from operating in the life of an individual. Sin can also block one's ear from hearing God when he is speaking. It can also block a Christian's ability to perceive spiritual things. This was the assertion of the primate of all Nigeria, Anglican Communion, His Grace the Most Reverend Nicholas D. Oko, during his sermon at the Service of Confirmation and Admission of Women into Women's Guild, Mother's Union at St. James Anglican Church, Asokoro, Abuja. According to Primate Oko, sin is so dangerous, hence Christians should be careful on how they live their lives daily. ACNN News correspondent Wane Ogechuku has the report. We are found as with the Holy Spirit for his sins. service of confirmation and admission of women into women's guild, Mother Senior, here at St. James Anglican Church at Sokoro Diocese of Abuja. The service was attended by the primate of all Nigeria, His Grace, the Most Reverend Nicholas D. Oko, who presided over the service. His beautiful wife, Mrs. Nkasi D. Oko, who is the president of women's guild and Mother Senior in Nigeria, as well as clergymen and friends and well-wishers who have come to celebrate with them. The collect for Advent theory was read by the vicar of the church. Give us courage to speak the truth, even to the point of suffering, that when he comes again in glory on that last day, we may stand with confidence before him as our judge, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. What other readings were taken by the newly confirmed and the mother and rode into Mother Senior. And the people said to Joshua, The Lord our God will be served, and his voice will be obeyed. For the flesh lost after the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary to one another. The primate had different interaction section with those who had been confirmed and admitted into Guest Guild, Women's Guild, Mother Senior. I admit you all into the fellowship of the Guest Guild. <laughs> Of Abuja with the Holy Spirit for his sins. During his Simon Primate Oko admonishes them to be careful on how they live their lives in order not to be disconnected from the Holy Spirit, stressing that sin is the only thing that is capable of quenching the Holy Spirit. God may be speaking to you. Sin can block your ear. It can block your heart. It can block your ability to perceive spiritual things. The primate father encouraged them to stand firm in times of crisis, adding that those who give up when being faced with problems are fair weather Christians. Building will be testing the patience of people, and it's a kind of trial. But when it is built, whether physical or spiritual, it is glorious. So do not allow the temporary setback of the construction to take your mind away from your place of worship. You must endure it. You must do it. Join the people doing it. You must identify with it. And you will be blessed for doing so. Amen. Those who run away because of that, they are fair weather Christians. He also charged them to praise God at all times. We must praise God when the building is on and when it is completed. It was a time of celebrating as the choir sing melodious tunes. The people dancing and rejoicing. The newly confirmed and mothers enrolled into a women's guild, Mother Senior, came out with friends to thank God. Wane Ugechiki, ACNN News. 
As Christians celebrate Christmas, they have been admonished to hold on to Christ and to make sure that Jesus Christ is at the center of their celebration. The Archbishop Metropolitan and Primate of all Nigeria Anglican Communion, His Grace the Most Reverend Dr. Nicholas D. Ogo, gave this admonition during the exhortation hour of the Darzidian Christmas Carol service of nine lessons at the Cathedral Church of the Advent Abuja with the theme, Come, Let Us Adore Him. According to the primates, Christ offers eternal pleasure to everyone who comes to him, and so Christians should make sure that they hold on to Jesus and also make sure that Jesus is at the center of their celebration. Come to him, he will give you eternal pleasure, permanent pleasure, authentic pleasure, real pleasure, not Taiwan, the superior quality pleasure that you need. Is from Jesus. Make sure you hold on to him this Christmas. Make sure your celebration is not devoid of Jesus, that he is in the center of your celebration, and that whatever you are doing is moderated by your understanding of the Lord Jesus. I say, who says, come, come to me, all ye who labor and are heavy laden. It could be school problem. Students are now around. Maybe you are having carryovers. Maybe it's jam problem. Maybe it's school fees problem. Maybe it's whatever, whatever. Our Lord God is able. And if you respond to him in sincerity, he will not disappoint you. He will answer you. And from this Christmas, the rest of Christmas that you will celebrate will be different. Primate Oko also noted that the reason why Jesus came was to take away the barriers between God and sinners, and that such sinners should not be afraid of coming closer to God. Jesus has come to take away the barrier, or what is referred to in another epistle, the dividing wall of hostility. The wall that divides between God and human beings. Why you are not at peace in the presence of God. There are some people, when they have committed sin and they are afraid of what it might be to repent, they start to criticize everything about church. They criticize the bishop, they criticize the pastor, they criticize any church, anything about church. Everybody is evil. Ah, uh, no, 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 don't, don't talk about those church people. They are bad, and so on. If you ask him, pin him down to give you any concrete explanation, he has nothing. He's being persecuted by his guilty conscience, and he needs redemption. He's among the type of people Jesus is talking about here. Come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden. The easiest way to run away from God, when we have offended him, when we are at fault, when we have fallen, is to run to him, not to run away from him. He further encouraged Christians to respond to the call of the Lord and lay down their burdens on Christ and he will give them rest. On this special celebration, I want to encourage you to respond to the call of the Lord. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. Life is troublesome, burdensome, and a lot of problems and difficulties. And no matter the avenue you want to take to escape, you will return to it. You will return to it. If you like, soak yourself in alcohol, you will come back to it. You like book appointment with so many women, you will return to it. You like have money as much as you can, you want, you will return to it. So, there is only one person who has solution. And that is why he has invited boldly, come unto me. He was sure that he could do something to change your circumstance. To make you happy, truly happy. To give you grace 
and enable you to live a better life. So he said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. High points of the event includes reading of the line lessons by different people from various apothecaries in the diocese, special presentations by children, choir, special presentation by the women and the Zumutamata group, and of course, different carol renditions by the diocesan choir. The vicar of St. Matthew's Anglican Church, who says on 3 Abuja, the Reverend Canon Simon Smart Sunday, has called on Christians to remember that Christmas brings the reflection of the love of God to humans, and therefore everyone should utilize the Christmas season by sharing love to all and sundry. Canon Smart made this comment during the service of nine lessons and carol of his church. He noted that because of the coming of Jesus Christ, the world experienced other good things. We are celebrating uh, Christmas carol and nine lessons. We are remembering the love of God to the world. And it is as a result of Christmas, that we are able to experience so many other good things that has happened to us in life. Christmas is God with us. He came into the world as God incarnate and stayed with us. Our message to the world, go out there and show some love to one another. There are people who are suffering. There are people who are sick. As you plan for Christmas, as you celebrate Christmas, make sure that you visit those who are in need so that you will celebrate with them. So that they will be able to also experience the love of God through us. Canon Smart also used the opportunity to urge Nigerians to exercise their true citizenship come 2019 by going out to vote. To prepare for 2019 election, let us not forget be a citizen of this country and exercise your right. When it is time to vote, go out to vote so that uh, we'll have a good leadership. This stopped by the incidents of vote buying that tainted recent elections, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has declared its readiness to collaborate with the security agencies to stop the emerging trend. INEC boss Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, speaking in an interactive section with the Commission's youth ambassador and celebrities in Lagos, said that in order to checkmate corrupt politicians on the issue of vote buying, electorates will not be allowed to bring in their cell phones into the polling cubicle. This came as the commission rolled out measures to ensure hitch free elections despite President Muhammad Buhari's refusal to sign the Electoral Act Amendment Bill. The opposition and some observers had alleged that the president's action was part of the ruling all progressive Congress APC plot to railroad itself to power. INEC, however, in a desperate bid to ensure the credibility of the forthcoming election, listed measures it tends to implement to ensure free and fair pools. Meanwhile, INEC has said that it is aware of the possession of permanent photo cards by foreigners and declared its readiness to work with the immigration service to check them. The Commission had also declared its readiness to collaborate with security agencies to stop the trend of vote buying that has marred recent elections. It said smartphones will be banned from voting cubicles across the country in 2019. Meanwhile, the leader of the Pan Niger Delta firm, Pandef, Chief Edwin Clark, has warned the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and the All Progressive Congress, APC, against rigging the 2019 elections. Speaking when he received a delegation of the Christian Campaigners of Nigeria, CCN, at his Asokoro residence, Abuja, Clark insisted that Nigeria needed a new president and warned that Nigerians would not tolerate any manipulation 
of the results of the 2019 elections. The former Federal Commissioner for Information also warned that any attempt to rig the election would provoke the anger of Nigerians. The Anglican Church of the Transfiguration, Gadua Abuja, has demonstrated the love of Christ, as it seen from the teachings in the Bible, as they took generosity to the poor and the needy in a rural evangelism. This they did as they shared food, stuffs, clothing, learning materials, including a medical outreach to the villages surrounding the church. Charles Philip Uwakolam has the story. Evangelism, reaching out, helping the poor, medical outreach. This summarizes what happened in the premises of Church of the Transfiguration, Kadua Abuja. The vicar and the members of the church thought it wise to bring succor to the community with a medical outreach, dishing out drugs, medical checkups, and consultations also dishing out gift items as well as evangelizing to win souls for God. This whole exercise is a very relevant to church mission evangelism and um, discipleship um, because we are in the Advent season. The best gift that uh, man had ever received is salvation and that's Christ coming into the world to die for the world. And so we are showing the love of Christ to um, those that are in need, especially the rural areas. And, um, like if you see, we have um, the medical um, personnel outside, and we had a vaccination point where they took their vaccines. And some of them are being um, attended to medically, giving drugs. And um, there's also a deworming exercise going on. And um, all this is to show them that um, Christ is interested in their health and also. Um, particularly the spiritual part of it, that's what we started with. Immediately they came, we had different sections with them to preach the word of God. We preach the word of God in vernacular, in Aousa, and uh, different languages that they can understand. And after the ministration, they had a medical approach, of it, medical approach to it. And then after the medical approach, we had um, two discipleship sessions for them. And then thereafter, we also have a distribution of food items. Um, we give them food. That's to show that Christ is interested in them feeding well. And also, Christ is interested in their education. We give them biros, um, pencils, crayons, and so on and so forth. And then Christ is also interested in their clothing. And so we had um, clothes for guys, for babies, for women, for men, and so on. Um, and then a group have left here to the prison, the hospital, and the uh, orphanage. Uh, we also want to make them understand that Christ is interested in those that are in the prison. Uh, but I think it's a very good start. Actually, this is the second time we are doing it this year. The other one was in the community. Uh, this time we decided to bring it here because we find that it's more convenient here. Uh, you get out from the crowd in the community, which is more or less like a mixed multitude. This one gives you people who really show that they have a need. Commonest two complaints. Two complaints actually come hand in hand uh, at, at par. Uh, one of the commonest happens to be epigastric pain, which is uh, most likely some form of peptic ulcer disease. That's quite common. Then the second, which is quite close, is um, malaria. The beneficiaries of this benevolence were full of praise as the joy they felt was visible in their expressions. And, uh, I so much like the way they coordinate in uh, this place, you know. And when I came here, I was feeling somehow, but when I went to see the doctor, they gave me some drugs and I've taken some of the drugs. Now I'm okay. Compliment the church and I just pray that God will give, grant them the grace to continue this kind of a gesture. Thank you, Church of Transfiguration. We appreciate. God bless you. This outreach was organized to showcase the true meaning of Christmas and what the love of God brings to bear. Only about um, um, the gift now, but we are about them having Jesus as their Lord and Savior, and then going back to replicate what you are doing. So the relevance of it to us who are doing this is for us to know that 
what we are doing to these people, Christ did for us long ago. So he expects us to do the same. Charles Philip Wakolam, reporting for ACNN TV News. As President Muhammad Buhari turned 76, the Guards Brigade, comprising 203 members, honored the president by performing special parade for him. The parade took place at the forecourt of Presidential Villa Abuja, beginning with Buhari's arrival at the venue where various military displays were held in what has adjoined the first elaborate birthday ceremony since he assumed office in 2015. Amid a rendition of special birthday songs, the president caught his birthday cake, watched by service chiefs and members of the Federal Executive Council. We shall now go on a short commercial break. News on the hour continues in a moment. Please stay with us. Ajayi Crowther University admission has commenced. Programs on offer include undergraduate, postgraduate, part-time, HND conversion, foundation and pre-degree in faculties of law, humanities, education, natural sciences, social sciences and management sciences. Our tuition is affordable and payable in three installments. Visit the university website at www.acu.edu.ng for online application, screening and admission letter. Given our state-of-the-art facility, well-equipped library, decent learning environment, and distinguished lecturers. Apply now by logging on to www.acu.edu.ng. For details, call 0814-592-0637. Ajayi Carver University, raising godly intellectuals. You are welcome back and thanks for staying tuned. For more on our top stories, please visit our website at acnntv.com or youtube.com forward slash acnntv. To be up to date with our news and other programs, download the ACNN app for Android from Google Play Store. The federal government has said that talks with the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, have so far been fruitful, expressing optimism that the ongoing strike by the university teachers will soon be called off. According to the Minister of Labor and Employment, Chris Ngige, this is predicted on the federal government's consideration of some of ASU's demands including the submission of the union's list of understanding payments and the identification of some areas in the universities in need of revitalization as contained in the signed 2009 agreement and also revealed that during the talks the quality of graduates from state-owned universities was brought to focus with a view to upgrading the standard of education in order to meet with global standards. Diamond Bank has confirmed its merger with Access Bank PLC, stating that the development is in the best interest of all stakeholders, including employees, customers, depositors and shareholders. In a statement signed by Choma Afe, head corporate communications of Diamond Bank, it was affirmed that the proposed merger would involve Access Bank acquiring the entire issued share capital of Diamond Bank in exchange for a combination of cash and shares in Access Bank via a scheme of merger. And now to foreign news. Anti-terrorist police opened an investigation into the attack that focused on Greek extremist group. Attacks targeting broadcasting groups, public companies or embassies have been frequent in Greece in recent years and have been blamed on anarchist or false left groups. The coalition government led by leftist Prime Minister Alexis condemned the blast as an attack on democracy. The homemade device went off at around 2.30 a.m., 45 minutes after an anonymous telephone warning to another TV network. So that's it on this edition of the News on the Hour. I want to thank you for watching. I am Zubichi Frank.